Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create SQL Server high availability listener in uh, uh, Microsoft Azure. These are the high level steps. Our first step is we will use a uh, availability group wizard to create our listener. One of the requirements for AG listener is that you need to have a static IP. So we will use the static IP and create our listener. Now in Azure, uh, creating a listener is not an issue. However, connecting to the listener and have that listener available on um, uh, all the application servers where they can connect or secondary um, replica um, where they can connect with the listener is an issue. Uh, in order to resolve that issue, we need to create Azure Load Balancer. Uh, in my case, it's going to be internal. What it means is that I want all my internal application systems uh, or secondary replica to connect to AG Listener. Uh, when we create AG Listener, you can connect with the listener if you don't uh, uh, create the load balancer only from the primary server. So if I fail over um, from one node to another node and try to connect with the listener from the node that is secondary at the moment, it we will not be able to connect uh, with our AG Listener. And we will see that uh, how to create Azure Load Balancer uh, and how to link that load balancer with our uh, cluster and our listener uh, role that we have created in our next video. But let's go ahead and uh, create the, the listener um, using this I, uh, available uh, IP address and then we will go and configure our Azure load balancer uh, with our cluster. This is my uh, one node SQL 01 and other node is a TBS SQL 2. Uh, let's refresh this and see which one is primary. I'll refresh this one too. Expand the availability group. We do have uh, already availability group called uh, Azure uh, Tech Brothers Availability Group AG right here. Let's expand the replica. So SQL 01 is our primary replica. And you can only create uh, the availability group from your primary replica. Right now, you can see that availability group listener, I'm sorry, you can only create uh, AG listener from the primary replica. So right now, you can see that there is no listener. So right click on that and click on add listener. And the listener name, in my case, is going to be AZ PBS SQL listener. Port is going to be 1433. And we don't want to use DSCP. We're going to go with static IP. And you need to add the static IP right here. In my case, it's going to be 10.0.0.27. This is the IP address that I'm going to use. And this is you need to remember this IP or you need to come back and write down this IP. Because when we create our load balancer, we have to link this IP. We have to make this IP, uh, the static IP reserve in our load balancer. So anytime we connect with our um, listener, uh, this IP will be configured. So click OK and click OK. All right, as you can see, the listener is created. Now let's go ahead and try to connect with this listener name. This is our primary replica. As you can see, that uh, TBS SQL 01 is our primary replica. So I will go and connect with our AZ TBS SQL listener and try to connect with it. And we got connected successfully. Now let's go in other server and try to connect with our listener. Keep in mind that we're all in the same network. So it's not a, a different subnet. So it, in on-premise, we usually are able to connect with our listener from any server once it's created and if you have permission to connect with the, the, the database. So I'm going to minimize this and get the SQL 2 right here. Let's refresh this and take a look on the listener up here. As you can see, the listener is here. Let's try to connect to it and see what kind of issues we run into. Same username, and if we connect with our listener, it's not going to let us connect. So this is the problem um, with the creating listener without 
creating the load balancer, the communication, all the communication happens when you create uh, AG listener uh, via load balancer. So if, if you, it's going to take time and it's going to fail. Okay, this is the error you will get. It cannot find the listener. So let's click OK, and then we'll go failover uh, to the SQL 2, and that will become primary, and then we will try to connect um, with our listener from our second node. I'm going to go and take off the failover. As you can see, the failover has completed successfully. If we go back to that node now, we should be able to connect with it. There you go. So it's on node two. So you can connect with your listener only on the primary node, but that's not what we want. We want that any application server within our network should be able to connect with our listener. So if we go back to node one and try to connect with the listener, See, we, we have connected before, so I'm going to disconnect this and connect again with the listener. And same issue. Since it has become the secondary replica, we will not be able to connect. Now we will, uh, in our next video, uh, we will actually create the load balancer. We will configure that load balancer to go against our cluster and our AG listener. After that, we should be able to connect with our AG listener from all the servers that is part of our network. And I, I hope this helps.